Welcome back. I'm moving on to our first segment of today. Dr. Daniel Mashad, Minister of International Cooperation, confirmed that the ministry is seeking through international partnership to support innovation and entrepreneurship in Egypt. And we all know that this is an integral part of the 2030 vision and the sustainable development. We are going to talk more about this and more about this initiative with our guest today, Dr. Nibin Nakhla, Doctorate in Business Administration. Good morning. Good morning, Nashville. So, first of all, I'd like to talk about how important it is when it comes to such an initiative and to the support of the entrepreneurship here in Egypt? Uh, first of all, like you said, Vision 2030 of the Egyptian government is to support entrepreneurs in Egypt. And uh, luckily, the last three years, uh, we reached to be the first uh, company, uh, the, the first country in the Middle East that uh, we are investing and taking care of entrepreneurs. And uh, so many researchers showed that uh, Egypt is the first to, uh, to invest in entrepreneurs. Of course, as you know, entrepreneurship is um, um, very important for the financial growth, uh, productivity, innovation, technology, and uh, changing the mindset of youth from uh, waiting for a, a job and waiting for uh, employment by the government or by private sector that they do their own um, uh, in, uh, projects and their own uh, companies and their own startups. Um, Her Excellency, uh, Excellency Dr. Rani al um, uh, made a very important uh, cooperation between the IFC, the International Financial Cooperation, and uh, the Egyptian society, FinTech. Um, and uh, it's important to say that the IFC is part of the World Bank program. And in her portfolio, she has 34 uh, big projects in the portfolio with the investment of 1 billion US dollars. Uh, and it will cover 13 of the sustainable development goals uh, of Egypt. Uh, this cooperation is very important uh, because it consists of uh, financial technology, technology, uh, financial technology and financial support to technology and to the financial um, uh, world of Egypt. If I'm talking about um, innovation and supporting entrepreneurship and the new generation, of course. So how important it is when it comes to this, especially during such a critical period of time? Uh, as you know, Egypt, we are a very uh, young population. Uh, the median age of uh, youth uh, of Egyptians is 24 years old. And 65% of uh, the Egyptians are youth. So this is uh, a big power and a big um, investment in this youth to to really accelerate and uh, grow the economy of Egypt. Uh, also, uh, the, the social and, um, and the cultural norm and education of the importance of entrepreneurship in the schools and universities is very important to change the mindset of uh, youth that uh, they should really um, reach entrepreneurship and, and be entrepreneurs. Uh, also, uh, with the COVID-19, we saw that uh, everything is digitalized, everything is online, everything is with the technology and innovation. So this is very important now uh, to enhance uh, technology and innovation and sustainability and the, the growth in, uh, in uh, technology and innovation, especially in the financial I think I was sector. just going to talk about this part in particular because usually funding has been one of the most important challenges. And as we have seen now, we have seen very uh, hard work, whether we're talking about uh, the, the government, uh, talking about uh, Egypt's leadership. Well, everyone is trying hard to support this part in particular. So let's talk about this challenge and how are we working on it? Uh, as you see, all, uh, all the ministers are having different initi initiatives and launched different initiatives to support youth and to support funding and to support training for entrepreneurship and education for entrepreneurship. Uh, for example, uh, the Ministry of Technology and I Information and Technology with the ITIDA 
they have launched uh, an initiative to train 100,000 Egyptian young um, uh, youth uh, on digital and advanced technology and advanced um, uh, digital and online um, skills and uh, to be competent uh, in it. Uh, also, uh, Ac uh, Sadat Academy uh, with uh, the Ministry of Youth, they have launched um, a very big uh, initiative to train youth in the 4,300 youth centers scattered all over the governorates, uh, not only uh, in centralized in Cairo and Alexandria anymore, uh, the ministers are spreading their efforts and spreading their financial aid and financial support to all the governorates. Uh, also, the, um, the World Bank and uh, the Ministry of uh, Planning, they have uh, a lot of initiatives like RUED 2030, RUED Master, uh, and they are reaching out for uh, women um, I think 35% of, of the funding and the support for women and 45% for youth. And also uh, we have uh, universities working on, uh, on initiatives uh, as well to, uh, for incubators, um, for accelerators. I believe incubators usually used to be one of the main challenges when it comes to SMEs, uh, entrepreneurship in, uh, in the normal uh, state, let's put it like this. And uh, we also have seen many efforts exerted yes. in this respect because if you want to have your own business, you can never do it, especially for SMEs, you can never do it without strong incubators. Incubators. Uh, and I would include not only SMEs, not only small, medium enterprises, micro. MSMEs and um, as you know the unofficial uh, businesses and the unofficial the informal economy as usual the yes. informal economy uh, the formal economy is 1.8 million and the informal uh, by the cap mass they they have uh, got out the statistics it's 2 million so imagine um, the amount of loss uh, of businesses because the informal is like hit and go they never uh, continue they never succeed to reach being formal if they did not start being formal from the beginning so the incubators are very important to support especially women and youth uh, to stand up and to know how to uh, to have their legal uh, consultancy uh, financial con uh, consultancy help them uh, to know where to uh, to get funds uh, like the um, the National Egyptian National Bank and the uh, Bank of Mas Alexandria Bank. They are all making uh, special funds for youth with five percent and uh, decreasing um, uh, interests. Uh, so also the incubators are very important to show and to teach and to mentor and coach those uh, startups and uh, business entrepreneurs uh, how to make the business plan how to market uh, how to um, access the market and to uh, to make their SWOT analysis the strengths and weaknesses yes. opportunities, opportunities and threats uh, how to study uh, well outside markets how to export and uh, in, I made a study uh, about what are the, the, the hindering things from export for uh, micro, uh, small, medium enterprises in Egypt. Why are we are not like China? Uh, why we are not um, expanding and exporting and um, growing the businesses? And uh, there are four pillars, very important pillars, is the informational capabilities. Of course, the big, the big picture when we zoom out is the marketing capabilities. So let me uh, stop here because I'd like to discuss this in more details, talking about uh, the four pillars for this, but right after this short break. Welcome back. And uh, we were talking about challenges uh, facing uh, exporting in Egypt. And uh, doctor, you were talking about four pillars. Uh, just to uh, face these challenges and to help the new generation, of course. Uh, okay, uh, the, the big picture we said is the marketing capabilities of entrepreneurs. 
uh, inside the marketing capabilities, one of the pillars is informational capabilities, knowing which markets, um, about the markets themselves. Segmentation in general. Yes, and, and also the culture of the other markets outside Egypt. Uh, the second pillar is the product productivity and the innovation of the product itself and um, the, the newness of the product, okay. Uh, the third thing is the entering into global value chain. And this is very important, uh, so they know where to get the, um, the supply, uh, where to, uh, to get the, um, the, to source everything in their production line and, and where to sell and how to sell. Of course, the fourth pillar is the pricing. It's very important. And uh, the moderating variables on these four pillars is the incubators, as we spoke about them earlier, and also the hiring and training of skilled employees. And this is, um, this is another thing Egypt is doing with the vocational training. Uh, like the Ministry of Power, they made an, uh, an initiative to train 900 um, vocational um, graduate uh, youth uh, to prepare them for um, work and for the labor market. I think this is the most important part because um, we have been always talking about the competitive advantage. If we want to do this, definitely we have to use our labor. Um, exactly. We have seen uh, actually this is taking place, especially when it comes to huge projects taking place in Egypt right now and the development projects and the initiative of the ministry as well. I think this is of great importance if I'm talking also about these challenges and how the minister is uh, or the ministry is working to face such challenges. Uh, all ministries, they have their own uh, um, initiatives to, uh, to face these challenges. But as you saw, the last uh, initiative was the cooperation between uh, the IFC, the International Financial Cooperation, and uh, the Egyptian FinTech uh, Society um, by Her Excellency Dr. Rania Al-Mashaf. And this is very important to support uh, youth in the financial technology. Uh, and uh, as you see, after the fourth revolution of technology, it is very important uh, for youth uh, to, uh, to go uh, financially uh, able in the technology of finance and everything uh, to go with innovation and technology. This is very important. Uh, and this will affect the, the sustainable development of Egypt and the, tw the vision 2030 of Egypt. Egypt is looking forward uh, to be uh, the hub for innovation and entrepreneurship in the, in the Middle East and Africa. So and especially when it comes, it comes to the information technology as exactly. well and the fourth revolution as we were talking. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so um, talking about uh, the new generation and how can we reach them and open the, the, the pave the way for them just as you mentioned maybe in the past we used to see the uh, private uh, universities doing this but nowadays actually we have to admit that all universities across the country they are working very hard with initiatives and working to uh, give them the way to start practical life even during their academic year. Yes, uh, we saw that Tanta University did a tremendous uh, jump in, uh, in this and uh, they have reached uh, a, global, uh, a very big uh, position in this. Also uh, Mansoura University, also Cairo University, they have the 500 uh, entrepreneurs that they are going to be trained and supported. Uh, also Alex University, as we said, also the Nile uh, University uh, they, are, they have their incubators, they have their support to entrepreneurs by the Nile entrepreneurs. And, um, and of course the AUC, if you're talking about private universities as well, and GUC also, they have the training for, so all, all the universities Look. How can this change the environment in Egypt? I mean, when it comes to um, the people, as you mentioned, uh, the idea of changing the mindset. This is yes. the most difficult part. Yes. Uh, if you are working on uh, the, the, the mental part of people, this is really very, very difficult. And the part is that, uh, for example, uh, giving them uh, new ideas, opening the way for them, uh, teaching them the know-how. Uh, all these things are very, very important, especially if we're talking about building economy of a country. Exactly. exactly. 
uh, one of the ecosystem, one of the very big ecosystem of entrepreneurship is education. Education are on two pillars, education in schools. And this, we are working on it, Egypt is working on this, to add an entrepreneurship uh, a subject in schools and this is very important especially in upper Egypt and in rural areas um, to show the students the young students that this is the social norm the cultural norm uh, a lady sitting at home uh, doing um, uh, handicrafts or things she can go official uh, business and she can really export and she can really I know one lady in in a very rural area in uh, upper Egypt she's exporting handicrafts through Alibaba and through uh, online marketing and no one knows that she's in a very poor village in a very uh, small area this is how people should I think thinking. this is also a uh, multicast to the women empowerment that took place recently. Exactly. And uh, again, uh, when we talk, as you mentioned, uh, we have seen a huge amount of uh, money or um, uh, uh, people working uh, on this and supporting women in uh, such areas and uh, putting uh, or taking into consideration, of course, the online and the IT because definitely this is the future. Yes. And uh, if one of the ministers can reach the women in their houses with online training, this will be great. Uh, remember I told you about the initiative of uh, the Manpower, Minister of Manpower to uh, train 100, um, thousand, 900, uh, sorry, 900 uh, youth. Uh, I want to tell you that 46% of these youth are women and from Upper Egypt and from uh, Bahira and from um, rural areas. Uh, this was in cooperation with, a, with an NGO called uh, Education for Employment Egypt and uh, they bridged the gap between the, the market uh, need and the, market, the labor market need and the education of these youth. And this is exactly like what you're saying, they reached uh, the youth in their houses by online platforms um, like Zoom and Google Meet and others. So you think um, still with this initiative taking place and all this, also the target that not only we are talking about um, students or uh, the innovation here, uh, the traditional one, but also we are seeking people in different places, as exactly. you mentioned, especially when it comes to women as well. Exactly, exactly. Uh, looking forward, uh, the Minister of uh, Youth with the uh, Sadat Academy, Dr. Ahmed uh, Rojdi, uh, they have made uh, this uh, initiative uh, to train uh, youth in the 4,300 youth centers scattered all, or, uh, all over the 27 governorates of Egypt. So uh, we're looking forward because this initiative also with the initiative of Dr. Rania al uh, of the financial technology, uh, this will be like um, cooperation or like a, a big patronage to put in it all the in other initiatives to reach out uh, for the targeted youth not only in Cairo and Alexandria because Cairo and Alexandria of course they have better chances but uh, you like upper Egypt as you mentioned for example and we have seen really uh, unprecedented uh, development projects taking place uh, in Upper Egypt uh, and uh, providing them more job opportunities, more when it comes to uh, labor skills as well. Yes, uh, I forgot to tell you also there is a big initiative. Dr. Nabila Makram, uh, Minister of uh, Immigration, she made uh, the, the Nile uh, boats, Marakib um, Nageh, the Nile um, boats uh, initiative to reach out for uh, the governorates that are most uh, in the illegal uh, immigration. Uh, some, some women, they, they know that 50% of their kids, they are not going to reach the other side of Italy or wherever the legal, uh, illegal immigration countries they are uh, targeting. And um, they are doing um, um, very essential growth and very essential training and uh, supporting with projects and uh, also the Ministry of uh, Social Solidarity in cooperation with this initiative they are training vocational training funding um, to these governorates that are most 
um, known for the illegal immigration to, to let them love more their country and, uh, and uh, have uh, businesses, profitable businesses and also to support the green and uh, the sustainable development uh, projects for Egypt growth. Right, uh, Dr. Uh, Niveen Nakhla, Doctorate in uh, Business uh, Administration. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Nashwa. It was an honor. Right, and still we have more to bring you on The Breakfast Show. But first, moving on to a quick break, then we'll be back. <laughs>